going on guys? Detached here for another video and today we're talking about a little bit of Destiny news that got released. Now it is a little bit of a sad day because the Iron Banner event is over. It was only here for a week and if you are in the temple you'll notice that the doors back to the back of the bridge they're now shut and Ephrodite is she's gone. So with the Iron Banner event I think the loot, the rewards, the fun, the event of supremacy, I think all of that together uh, it was a perfect event, honestly. I think uh, they did a great job with bringing just one event for us, pulling its supremacy. Um, th some of the matches on a few of the levels seemed very lengthy to me, but for the most part, all the levels were a lot of fun with my clan. Um, the the few of us that were able to to sync up and, and get together, we had a we had a ton of fun. Um, it was a lot to uh, lot to take in. There were a lot of weapon drops, a lot of armor drops, a um, lot of multiples. So there was a lot of vault storage issues over the over the course of the week. But um, Destiny has released some news. Um, a lot of us have really been waiting for the Wrath of the Machine heroic mode update as to know when that is going to be released and what's coming out. If you guys have played the Wrath of the Machine on the normal mode, which a lot of you have, and if you've been paying attention to YouTube or any of the streamers out there, the secrets that were once held and everybody was trying to figure out, most of those mechanics have all been figured out now, and even down to the last drop of the exotic pulse rifle. That secret has now been figured out as well as a, as a couple weeks ago. But the heroic mode of the Wrath of the Machine raid will be released on 1018, about 10 a.m. Pacific time. Bungie sent that note out a few days ago. Now, they haven't dropped many hints as to what kind of new challenges are going to be in the heroic mode or what they're really going to be doing. But I do suspect that there will be one, higher level enemies that you have to deal with. Two, the normal challenges that everybody's been figuring out. You will still have those on top of maybe a challenge mode or something else that is coming out. And then a three, it's heroic. It is going to be crazy hard. And with all the other raids that we've had, a heroic mode raid, the um, revives have always been disabled. So I'm sure they're going to stick with that as well. Now, um, if you guys have not seen the raid or had a chance to get into it, it's recommended to be about light level 370 to even start the thing. Um, our clan is nowhere near ready to start it, so we haven't even played the normal mode. I've been doing some homework, catching up on some things, but there are plenty of ways out there, guys, to get to 385 light. You've got your normal raid mode. Of course, the Iron Banner was here, so... You've got your heroic mode, SIVA strikes. There's lots of ways to increase that light. Um, our clan is just very slow at leveling. I've always been slow at leveling in Destiny. It's always been kind of a grind for us because we're story content guys. We like to really take in the environment, what's going on. And we don't get a chance to play every day. But when we do, we try to sync up and make sure that we can uh, level up as fast as we can. So... As far as the other news that was released, I'm a little sad because it's not coming to Xbox. It's just PlayStation 4 right now, but the Bungie Bounty Day is coming back. If you are ready for it, you're on the PlayStation Network tomorrow, October 12th, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Bungie is going to be doing a appreciation of the Guardians who gathered together. Um, basically, they're going to share war stories in real time. And then they're going to be able to um, get to go fight the Bungie group. Basically, in past, what Bungie did with this, um, they had an invitation to hunt um, down in a crucible playlist, the Guardians that came together. Um, beyond the launch of Rise of Iron, um, they have really kind of said, we're going to change that format, how things look. I don't know what it's supposed to do, how it's going to play out, or what it's really going to look like. But... Stay tuned to Bungie's Twitch channel. Um, I'm sure on their Twitter page they'll be releasing updates and let everybody know when that's coming out. They did mention that they want to do this on Xbox, but they did not say a date. They just said, we're going to be doing it sometime. That's why I said I was a little sad, because, again, 
Xbox, we come last. PlayStation seems to get the firsts of this. And then, lastly, kind of what's up with uh, Destiny? A lot of Guardians have been complaining about an issue in their fire teams to where they can't get synced up correctly. Um, there is actually a bug right now that Bungie is going to be doing a hotfix on. They're calling it Loopers. And basically, inside your fire team, when you try to get together and um, sync up, you it, it's a network trouble shoot, shooting issue on their end and a lot of the times the fire team members will try to join up and it sticks them in some type of loop and just doesn't allow them to actually sync up con and connect correctly. Um, our clan has actually seen this a couple of times. We think we're synced up and we see each other in kind of a party view. We're all there, but yet we can't actually invite or chat with one another um, and kind of see what's going on other except for the Xbox party chat. So guys, that's all I've got on the Destiny News update for today. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate all the support. And guys, I'm Detached, and I'm out. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out on the channel for more content, and join us on our Twitch channel every Thursday from 9 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video.